My name is Robert Cowan from Square Mile Systems and in this presentation I will show you how the DC layout module from our free Visio add-in can help you quickly and accurately put cabinets onto data center floor plans. It solves the problem of being able to individually resize potentially hundreds of shapes to reflect the dimensions of the cabinets they represent and it also automates the layout of cabinets into rows or columns for example left to right, right to left, top to bottom or bottom to top however your data center is physically laid out. I'm going to show you how we can go from a simple spreadsheet with a list of basic cabinet data to a floor plan like the one shown here with shapes accurately sized and positioned one for each cabinet. Let's zoom in and we can see here that we have several rows of cabinets, each row accurately positioned. In the background of our diagram we have walls, title blocks, doors and other information. If we look at one of the shapes here and turn on the shape data window we can see that this is an 800 by 800 cabinet. The one next to it, C11, is 800 by 1200 and obviously that's shown as bigger on the diagram. If we look at a PDU it's shown as 1500 by 500. So how did we get to this diagram? The starting position was this spreadsheet of data. So we have cabinet name, cabinet width, cabinet depth, and some other attributes. So many of the cabinets are standard width, 800 by 1000, but if we scroll down, we see that yes, we do have some cabinets with slightly different sizes. So let's start with the base diagram. Here is the base diagram that's accurately sized and scaled to represent the size of our data center. What I'm going to do is link this diagram to an Excel spreadsheet. So I use the standard link data to shapes, select Excel workbook. Having linked data to my diagram, I can see the external data window here. If I click on the cabinet shape in my stencils, I then click down here, press Ctrl A to select everything, and in one drag and drop action, I can add all of the cabinets to the diagram and each cabinet is associated with a row in the external data. But using the free SMS utils add-in, I can first resize all of the cabinets so that they accurately represent the size of the underlying data and I then can lay them out in one action. In this case, I'm going to try the option left to right, top row first. Zoom in. And we see that quite a lot of the work has already been done. So I have different size shapes for different cabinets. Let's do a little bit more manual positioning. These PDUs are actually going to go vertically against the left hand wall. So I will resize them vertically. I'm going to lay them out top to bottom. Position them like that. Move that one down a bit. Move that one. I'm then going to take row C and put some of the cabinets down here. Some of the other cabinets I'm going to position between the two pillars and then I will take row B and move it more or less to the right place. Use the video nudge function. And do the same for row A. And if I check the shape data, then I see that yes, everything has been linked as in the other diagram that I showed you. Once I have my Visio diagram, my floor plan, I can use the Visio data graphics feature to bring out the same data in multiple different ways. I'm going to select all the cabinets and then click on the data graphics feature and here's one I've defined which shows the function of the various cabinets. And there we see 
all the cabinets have been highlighted with different colors and also with a little bit of text to show whether they're network, server, mixed, storage, or indeed PDUs. This is a very powerful way of being able to use Visio diagrams as dashboards so we can have multiple different views of the same underlying data. For, for those of you with our Asset Gen Connect product, it's easy to draw uh, floor plans direct from within the tool. I click draw on this screen, New York Data Center. Using the same background template that I previously had, Asset Gen Connect will place all of the cabinet shapes on the diagram in this case in nice neat rows but as you can see they're all exactly the same size and then just as before I can use the SMS Visio Utils resize horizontally and automatically lay out in rows quick and easy and then I just manually position as previously and the process from this point on is exactly the same as I previously demonstrated. So what I have demonstrated is that using standard Visio features of data linking to spreadsheets or using output from the Asset Gen Connect tool, it is very easy with the free Square Mile Systems Visio add-in to accurately and quickly size and position your data center floor plan. For more details about the add-in and how to download it, please see the above link which is also contained in the comments for this video. Thank you.